Hey guys, Ghost Boy Ghoul here. Before I get into the polls, you know what? Actually, before we get into that, let me just show you why I'm really pulling for this, even though my wind stuff is amazing. Like, look at the wind stuff I already have. Do I really need to pull for Yuffie? No. But look at this right here. Out of this was not on my uh, wish list for the Yuffie pulls, poll video. You can check that out. But I pulled a bunch of them and a bunch more since then. One more of them and it's going to be OB10. I'm not adding it to the wish list. It's going to happen naturally eventually. Or I can just get it with weapon parts. <laughs> At some point I can do that right now if I really wanted to. But uh, I'm saving. So if anything. Look I've already got a huge single hit Tifa motor drive. She doesn't have a wind Arcanum or mastery. But I've already got a huge dark heavens. He, Sephiroth's got the mastery for 20%. Aerith has got 35% Arcanum. Uh, Yuffie does have 35% Arcanum. So if anything, even if I only pull like one or two of her new weapons, the uh, Diner Tray, then even though the Diner Tray does hit for more damage percentage overall at the end, I think it hits for 850, whereas like Motor Drive hits for 790. I think this hits for 800. 800. And it hits for 850% at the end. Uh, I'm not sure about all the stat stuff exactly. But she get, has 35% with her outfit, as opposed to Sephiroth only having 20. And Tifa doesn't even have a wind outfit. So, I mean, she w Yuffie will hit harder at max. But, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, even if I only had it, like, OB1 or OB2, or just one copy even, like, she will be my best physical area of effect win. Because this, not only is it going to add wind potency to this, but this is physical too. I mean, you don't have to go physical, although it gives five physical attack potency on the outfit. I mean, you could still build it magic and just put like a four or five star Aurora on one of our slots. It wouldn't be the greatest because there's no magic slot for uh, <clears throat> these abilities. It's just attack, physical, physical, or diner trades the same. There's no magic slot, unfortunately, so you'd have to put it on one of these. But it could be done. <laughs> just, my wind is so good. Like, I've got stuff like this. The only thing is like... Aerith with her wind arcanum this is the first weapon to get magic attack uh wind potency right here the canyon collar so this would pair really well on Aerith's back but I didn't really get many of it um clearly between all my physical stuff magic wind is a little it's not as good regardless right and, I'm, and then I'm working on that but anyways that was just a quick rundown of what the wind stuff I already have. If anything, the outfit is going to just come in clutch for air area of effect wind, which will come in handy during ranked dungeon events. And who knows, probably some other events in the future too. And I've already got this level 90 OB9, so why not, right? As for the wish list here, I'm, I think the poison one is going to be really cool. It's the first weapon to have this, and I just kind of want more copies of this. I already got it to level 90 because I'm just very curious about what it has to offer, right? So, I just think that's going to be a cool one. I don't... I only have uh, three or four copies. I think four copies OB3. Or OB4 maybe, actually. It's five copies of Red Seaside Collar. So, I kind of want to get this to OB6. And I'd prefer using Yuffie over Red. And uh, it has... This has better um, R abilities as well. I mean, you could use this on a lot of different people. Uh, plus, it's got the Lightning Potency. And Lightning, out of all six of the elements out there right now, Lightning is my weakest... Uh, element so I do want to work on that so we got because I just mentioned that I've also got HP lightning potency this can be used on anybody a physical or magic dealer and then Glenn's Shockbuster also can be used on anybody physical or magic dealer trying to get them prepped for whenever we get another lightning Arcanum whether it's uh, better for a magic or physical user I've got stuff wish listed that could work towards either because I guess before pulling, since I just talked about that, I'll just go over this really quick, but uh, quicker than I went over the wind. Um, like, yeah, like, lightning is my weakest element. Of course, these were free uh, from Rama. And then I've got the CC ally sword, but it's magic only. If we get a physical uh, lightning mastery or Arcanum, I mean, this and this aren't going to be the greatest, you know, but if we, go, if we get uh, magic, that's cool. That's and uh, I don't really have a good Marasame. I'm working on Thunderbird here, but, but again, it's magic. It's it's crazy magic, though. It's uh, 54 magic. Oh, you can't see that, but yeah, 54 magic. And uh, yeah, so I mean, Lightning's my weakest I've got going on here. Wait, did it not show um, Lucia's weapon there?
Oh yeah, that was weird. It didn't show a few weapons. Anyways, broadsword axis is pretty low, and the SSR 1976 is the one I was thinking about that it didn't show. And this, uh, I guess I must have been filtering that improperly, but hey. Okay, so that is uh, OB3, not OB4. Anyways, uh, let's just get into drawing. I mean, we could possibly get the outfit. Probably not. I don't have the greatest luck, but uh, let's see how far we get. While saving at least 5,000 red crystals, of course. Here we go. Just double checking my wish list. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lightning potency, and then I need... Uh, I, I don't need, but I prefer having these broken weapons that only cost 4-8 TB to do AoE buffs or debuffs. I like having them at OB6 to get that extra tier, because this is uh, mid to high. I love hitting high in one hit, especially for AoE and only 4 ATB. I think that's absolutely broken. So this and like bandaged sword and uh, assault gun, stuff like that I think is just absolutely broken. And uh, regardless, the R abilities aren't the greatest for them. You don't really use them, but when you actually use these characters and you need to use these, I think it just makes fights way easier. They're almost never needed to be OB6. I've, the fandom always argues against me on that, and I don't blame them. I understand their point, and they are right, but I just, all I'm saying is it makes it easier and less trustful to have a weapon at OB6, and if you're a whale or borderline whale or dolphin like me, why not get these weapons at OB6, right? Anyways, here I go. Yes. Making sure everything was correct before I started here. Ah, figures. Okay, figures. Probably only gonna get like the first <laughs> dinner tray and then I have to stop. <laughs> Ooh, not very lucky so far. Not very lucky so far. I got a three three star copy of it. Better than ones. Better than ones. Let's get a three and make up for it and then just go twos and higher from there on out. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. He didn't have the Mirasame fit, but I got something for Sephiroth and something for Lucia. Oh, that's OB10 now. I had that at OB9. Holy moly, okay. And we got an SSR uh, 1976. That's good. I want I want that. For the lightning potency and HP. That's cool. Wow, I got a Shinra Blade to OB10. See, that's what I mean. That's why you don't wish those. those. You're going to get stuff that's sitting at OB8, OB9, uh, OB10 eventually. Not even trying. Alright. Two. Beautiful. I'll take a two. No Marisama outfits. Holy moly. Not the greatest. At least I got two five stars in my last pull. And we're getting like a minor amount to these. Because the, they do have increased odds of like pulling these. So, so it's, if you really like a weapon and banner banner is out. That's why it's always the best time to go in on the weapon as much as you can during the banner. Because it's always going to be more difficult to get the weapon later. More copies of the weapon even on the wish list later on. By a slight chance. Just mathematically... What I just said is correct, right? There's always those lucky people out there who pull a bunch of them anyways, but... There's a Marisame outfit, but then again, I, this is the guaranteed diner tray, right? Oh, okay. We're getting at least two. Something for Barrett. And Yuffie's new weapon, okay. Got a diner tray. Sweet. And what did I get for Barrett? Oh, an enemy launcher. Nice. I'm finally starting to get these. I didn't really have any of these until like the last few weeks. And I've finally been starting to pull them. Not even wishlisting them. And it's a great weapon to have as an R for its R abilities. You get attack, which can be used for anybody. And you also get that physical uh, attack ability potency for the stance, which is great too. Now, I want to draw again, but how many do I have? Enough. I have enough. Let's go. Yes, these twos, bro. Let's go. 
Oh, okay, I think I have enough to get the uh, outfit after all. I thought I might not have enough and have to pull next week, but we're still going to pull next week anyways. Uh, if there's a new banner, I, which I suspect there will be, and like another Valentine's Day banner. And actually, you know what? I might not pull if it's not an Arcanum or a Master or something I need. Regardless, we'll see. Okay, I hope this is another diner tray. Then again, there's a couple other weapons on the wish list, like her poison one and her uh, lightning one, the wind, the wind one, the wind, the one that's called the wind something that does lightning reduction. And then this has got to be the wish listed uh, <clears throat> mat weapon there, core defender. Yes, core defender. Okay, and the poison one. Whatever. We could draw again though. Come on, two. You know what? I might. Depending on how many crystals I have, I might pull until I get at least OB1 and then pull a 5,000 to get uh, OB2 at the very least. But that's bad. That's bad. Might not be, though. <laughs> might not be bad. Let's see here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it was a little rough. A little rough around the edges. Um... Okay, and then this is... Well, I'm getting the outfit, but then if I was to pull again after this, then I'd have less than 5,000, which I don't like having. So, this has to be my last pull, at least for today. Please get another diner tray. Please. So that I can get the prompt. Please. Okay. Okay. Yuffie and Lucia. Ah, uh, more poison. Twin Viper. That's okay. Later that very same day. So, my weekly EC soldier pass ran out. And it's that minimal one. The This one here. And uh, I got it. And now I have enough for another pull and with still 5,000... Uh, to the side, so if I get the diner tray, I can stop there. And I, and I decided if not, then I am gonna go back in and maybe get uh, one of these ones. Probably the one of the Sephiroth for Kuja's Blade or something. But uh, yeah, I might as well give it a shot. If I get the diner, diner's tray, then I'll stop there. But uh, oh yeah, one other thing I want to mention too, because I saved up so many tickets. 994 and I hit the cap. I guess you can't hold over a thousand tickets. I tried to claim it History here previously due to capacity 20. It wouldn't let me pick it up. So I had to draw 20. Uh, I should have waited to um, Record it. I did get one five star. I got a uh, Zax enhanced sword Z the healing one single target healing one. It's pretty bad. I got that uh, from 20 free pulls, which is all right. At least I got a five star should have recorded it regardless Let's get into this banner here. Uh, okay. Come on, dinner tray. Dinner tray, dinner tray, dinner tray. Yeah. Okay. One pull. If I get it, I can stop. If not, we'll keep going. Stamp doesn't matter at this point as long as I get the dinner tray. Oh, this second page is actually looking pretty nice. Darn, I knew that would happen. Okay. Well, I'm going in. We're gonna get one of these dinner trays, okay? Totally. A nice three? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, buddy. Lucia and Matt. And it wasn't even the uh, core defender. It was a killer hornet, darn it. I mean, that's great and all, but... I'll take it. Like, it brings the killer hornet to OB7 or OB8. I think it brings it to OB8. So, why not, right? Another one of these. Cool. Well, alright. <clears throat> 
I gotta reload up. And we're back. Just got enough for two more pulls with 5,000 left over. We'll see what happens. I'll stop as soon as I get that one more tray plus the prompt. Ooh, wow. That's a guaranteed five star right there. Hopefully that's a, a tray. If not, it's coming up anyways. I could just finish page two if I keep getting threes and stuff. Threes and decent numbers like that. Let's see the boot. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yuffie. Aerith, okay. More Twin Viper. Holy moly. Now the thing is, as you saw earlier, I do have 200 Yuffie weapon parts I could just put towards the tray. But something they don't tell you is the weapon parts does not trigger the prompt. You have to pull them to trigger the prompt. So, we've got to pull again. A Mithril Rod and another Twin Viper. Does that make my Twin Viper OB5? I think that makes it OB5. One more for it to get stronger. Two? Okay, good numbers. Maybe I should just get the tray at this point. I mean, this tray. <laughs> One almost behind my head there. See the boot? Let's see the boot! Ah, darn. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. We're drawn, and I'll just, uh, I'll buy another one if I have to. Three, beautiful! We're getting it, then. We are getting it. And I can stop there. Finish page two with good rolls. Good chokeable rolls on the second page. Mostly. Mostly good rolls. Awesome. I'm happy. And the deal. I'll get that. I've got 12, 12 hours to pick it up. But uh, that's what it is, right? So, Guaranteed for 5,000 instead of gambling with 3,000. Plus, plus 20 tickets and this stuff. It's, uh, I think that's a great deal. So. Alright. Okay, I got just enough here, 5,000, by getting the, uh, this pass. I mean, I may as well. I came to exactly 2,000. I had just 2,030 left over, so. Bare minimum I could have got for something that I'll actually use. Like, there are the $25 packs. Um. But. Well, it's 25 Canadian, but uh, I don't need any of these weapon parts and stuff anymore. The best thing I would have got at it was an extra 200 crystals, but whatever. So here it is, and we're getting the wallpaper. This means, which is nice. Let's get that wallpaper. My Yuffie setup is probably going to be like the opposite for most people who pulled on this uh, banner for her. Let's uh, claim this. Alrighty. I'm just going to take a little gander at that. There she is. There she is. I've got it. Cool. Cool stuff. Here, let me use this. Sweet. And let me make a co-op Yuffie. Name it Wind Yuffie. And I'll make it really quick here. This cool attack. Hi. Get the nice sparkling skater outfit. We're putting magic shuriken in main hand because it's level 90 and OB9. We're putting diner tray in side hand. Most people are going to have the diner tray in main hand. But no matter what, you get the same S abilities for the materia no matter what. And we're going to cap out on that physical attack anyways here. Watch. Uh, elemental potency, wind. Let's see how high we can bring her all, all by herself here. Watch, just to make sure. 
Okay, yeah, motor drive is the right move between those two. Let's give her pulse gun level 90, attack, wind potency, uh, HP and wind potency, 93,000, 92,000. This is going to be better because physical attack is probably already capped. Oh, it's not. Oh well. Let me see here. Um, physical attack. First off, this is how we're just gonna make her power the strongest we can possibly make it. Let's equip. Uh, actually, this. 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 And now from here this 138 138 with ifrit shiva or rama we'll throw shiva on her just for that power creep look at that 138 sitting at 138,000 with this and now i'm just going to fine tune the materia and this is how you would do that so, so switching that for this would bring it to 146 146 800 that's going to be the best one so far 146 800 now we do the second one. That's the thing that brings it up. No. And the third one. 153. 153, 180. That was 153, 180. This was 153, 778. So there we go. Um, we got the best materia for her. It's sitting at 153 power like this. That is insane. Insane. Now, just to get the power of creep, if I really wanted to go higher, I would use, I would put that on her. Oh wait, now it says it would go down. Interesting. Our abilities hitting cap and seven physical attack. Uh, obviously the Arcanum for thirty five percent. Hit, just hitting 7 regular attack 2 at 55, capping physical attack and this out, and hitting 9 wind potency at 85. Look at that. Wow. What a damn crazy Yuffie. And even though this is OB2, she's still going to hit 580% physical wind plus, plus 35%. Uh, so plus 35% of that plus 110%. So 145% damage on top of the uh, 580 single target. And, four, and 440 uh, multi-target. If I get one more of these, 520 plus all that wind potency multi-target, which is insane. So yeah, that and just to prove here, power's not going up. Uh, all stats are going down. We have that in main hand. Just, just to show. But hey, yeah, there's my Yuffie. That's pretty wild. Crazy. Crazy. It's pretty crazy. Oh, you know what? Because I got that prompt here, we've got 20 more tickets. I can't claim them. Let's just pull 20 so I can claim them right now because uh, we've got overflow, right? So, got tons of these. Let's pull 20 of these. See if we get any more five stars. Of course, there's no wish list with these or anything like that. No stamps, no benefit of that sort. But let's see what we get. I just wait for the boot. No biggie, no biggie. <laughs> it's our ice one. And one more ten pull. Oh, baby. Uh, another Barrett weapon. Max Ray? The laser one? I uh, only... That's, that's OB-1, I think, now. Yeah, I only had one copy of that. The Diamond Sigil Breaker? Nice. Cool. Alright, now I can claim that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video... Be sure to leave a like down below, maybe a comment if you'd like, anything you'd like to put down there, I'll read it, I'll respond.
Give me a follow on Twitch. I'll put the link down below in the description. Uh, hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel as well. Cheers, guys.